Hey, Shalom Mizra, Moshe and Christ bless is Captain Zephaniah. I'm here with Captain Yadaya, Captain Joel. We are here in Detroit for a full celebration of independence called Cinco de Mayo. All right, we're here to wake up the so-called Mexicans and let them know that they're the tribe of Issachar from the nation of Israel. Israel united in Christ, black men and Latin men standing up as the Israelites. Hey, we put in in work every day, and you know we contend for the faith, so we never pretend with the fake. I ain't got with the snakes. I just know what I am, what I ain't. I just do what I can, what I can't. I just leave it to him, I don't think. Hey. Mexico is una palabra hebrea que significa Mesías. Los el llamado mexicano le pertenecen a la tribu de Isaacar en la Biblia. Hey, doce rejas, doce ángeles, doce tribus. Dime dónde tú crees que va a entrar. Afuera del reino con perros y enemigos. Arrepiéntese hoy van a estar. Con la espada y con el fuego que viene Cristo para la tierra purificar. Doce rejas, doce ángeles, doce tribus. Dime dónde tú crees que va a entrar. What the brother's bringing out is on point. He's teaching you your true nationality, all right? Because why are you out here? Why are you out here? You with the hat. For your what? For what? For Mexican pride. You can say it, right? You want to make sure your family's safe, but you got that hat on, so what are you representing? You're representing Mexico, right? When I ask you what's your nationality, what are you going to tell me? What are you going to tell me? Mexican-American, watch this. Watch this, look at this. Because what we're teaching our people is that 12 tribes of Israel, right? The people that you see marching here, right, calling themselves Mexican, Latinos, Hispanics. Listen, watch this. You're from the tribe of Issachar. The so-called Mexican Aztecs are from the tribe of Issachar. You understand? Now, guess what? This, your oppressors, the so-called white man, he knows who you are. Let me show you this. Watch this. Read that. Read that for me. Origins of the American Indians. Origins of the American Indians. European Concepts 1992-1729. What is it? European Concepts 19... 1792-1729. European concepts from 1492 to 1729. Where were we in 1492? Where were we? Raise that sign up. Watch this. Where were we in 1492 to 17? Even till now. Look at this. This is what happened to the so-called Mexicans. You understand? The so-called Mexican was enslaved just like the black man. You understand? That's why the brother brought out Jeremiah 50, verse 33. Judah and Ephraim, or Israel, are oppressed together. That's why we're in the same communities under the same conditions. You understand, my brother? So this is vital for you. For what? For your understanding, for your salvation. If nobody else gets this, you're going to get it. You understand? You have to be saved. You have to be saved for what? For your family. You gotta save your family. You said you're here because you wanna make sure your family's all right. So you gotta take this knowledge and take it back to them and teach them who they are. Now I'm gonna show you something that, that the so-called white man knows that we don't know. Watch this. From that same book. Watch this. He, he can tell you that. This is my sister. Okay. And that's her husband. Read that for me. Great, great. This is from that book, Oranges of the American Indian. Watch this. Read. So who? The Mexicans! So who? The Mexicans! That's these people here calling themselves Mexicans. The so-called white man called you Mexican. Right. That is not your nationality. Right. 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 Originally! Uh, who? The Mexicans! Originally! Uh, originally, meaning before you were called Mexicans, you were called something else. Right. Mexicans are originally from where? The ten tribes. The ten tribes. We are twelve tribes, but originally the ten tribes came over here to America. Captured by Salmanessa. By who? By Salmanessa. By Salmanessa. By Salmanessa, the Assyrian king at that time. He captured the so-called Hispanics, Native Americans. Read. Of what? Of Issachar! The family of what? Issachar! The family of Issachar! 
Mexico, the so-called Mexicans, are originally the family of Issaquah. Who the Indians? Who? The Indians! Who? The Indians! The Indians! The Indians! Los Indios! That's your people, our people! Bring. Recognize! They what? Recognize! They recognize! They recognize who they are! They knew who they were before captivity! As their special ancestor! As their special ancestor! So what does that mean? That means the so-called white men knew you were from the tribe of Issachar! But what do they call you today? They call you Mexicans. That's not your nationality. And the Bible shows you that. Give me that Deuteronomy 28. Watch this. Verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. But it shall come to pass. Meaning future prophecy. This was Moses talking to the Israelites. The Issacharites. The so-called Mexicans. It shall come to pass, meaning it will happen. Right. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. That's what we see now. Our people will not hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God's voice is this Bible. That's, right. that's, the, that's God's voice. Right. That's how. This is what we must hearken to. But what? Our people want to be in madness, in folly, in wickedness, right. in false vain hopes really. you know. to observe to do all his commandments we must observe and do all god's commandments yeah. read and his statutes and his what and his statutes uh. which i command thee this day so he commands us that's why we're out here why because we're awake we're awake right. you're waking up to your true nationality right. because what now you're being marked right. when people ask you what's your nationality you might still say mexican because they don't know no better but you do right. so you gotta have patience like we have patience with you and teach your people teach your family who they are so they don't get caught up in this madness this wickedness you understand read that all these curses all these what curse a good thing or a bad thing? Huh? Curse is a good thing? Absolutely, it's a bad thing. So let me ask you this question. Is being called Mexican a good thing or a bad thing? Why Why you say that? So your oppressor named you Mexican, right? Watch this. It's, in the, it's part of the curses. Remember, Moses said, all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Give me verse 37. Watch this. Look at Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. And thou, meaning our people shall become an astonishment. This is an astonishment to see. It's going to work, man. It's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to work. See God's chosen people marching and dancing to lies. In wickedness, right. women half naked, our children half naked. They're not supposed to be doing that, calling themselves Mexicans. In the land of our oppressors, in the land of our captivity. This is what's going on. Why? To keep you what? Asleep. Right. Asleep. So that you don't wake up and what? Defend your true nationality. Protect your family. That's what they don't want you to do. Right. But with this information, this is how you protect your family. This is how you defend your family. By keeping God's commandments. Read. And thou shalt become an astonishment. A what? An astonishment. Uh, a proverb. A what? A proverb. A proverb. A proverb. What do they say about Mexicans? What do they say about Mexicans? Huh? What do, what's, a, what's, what's a saying that they say about Mexicans? Huh? Hard working, right? That's in the Bible as well. All right. What do they? What else they say? They call you Mexicans. That's a Bible. A proverb is saying that Mexicans are what? Gang bangers. All right. They're drunks. All these things is what? It's part of the curses. Read.
stands where we become a proverb and a byword, meaning people call you out of your God-given name. Among all the nations, they call us Mexicans, they call us white bats, they call us illegal aliens. That's a byword. You see that? That's the devil wanting to distract you from what? God's word. But you're being sealed today because now you know you're from the tribe of Issachar. Now you know you're from the tribe of Issachar. You understand? Give me um, Psalms 94 verse 16. What do you think you have to do now? Now that you know you're from the tribe of Issachar, what do you have to do now? Uh, come closer. What do you think you have to do now now that you know you're from the tribe of Issachar, from the nation of Israel. Keep the commandments of God, right? Keep the commandments of God. Watch this. This is what you got to do. Read. Chapter 94, verse 16. Who will rise up for me? So God is asking, who will rise up for me? We are asking, who will rise up for God in these last days? All these men you see surrounded in purple, we have risen up for God. That's why we out here. Because we love our people. The so-called Mexicans, the so-called Hispanics, Latinos, Blacks, Native Americans. These are God's chosen people. In la casa, mi abuelita tenía un foto así, una imagen falso. Y ahora estamos leyendo por medio de la Biblia que Cristo dijo cuando... Llegan imagen falso, profetas falso que dicen que yo soy Cristo como esto. All right? But we are lost, lost to our true nationality. Watch this, read. Who will rise up for me against the evildoer? Against who? Against the evildoer. Who's the evildoers? Who is the evildoers? The ones that changed your nationality, made you forget who you are. Those are the evildoers. The other nations are the evildoers. The ones who have taken your land. California belongs to the so-called Mexicans. Phoenix, Arizona belongs to the so-called Mexicans. Texas belongs to the so-called Mexicans. But what? They took your land. They took your fields. Give me that in Micah 2 verse 2. So my brothers, you have to rise up. Rise up and defend your nationality. Defend your people against this madness. Next year, God willing, life flash, you should be on this side teaching your people. Because guess what? All I see, the majority, I'm I'm a so-called Latino. I'm I'm a so-called Dominican. You understand? I speak Spanish. I came out here for the love of my people. You understand? These brothers right here, they're the so-called blacks. But they come out here for the love of their people. But we need brothers that look like you to teach your people. Why? Because there's a barrier, there's a division, and we must bring it down. How do we bring it down? By uniting, uniting the two houses, the house of Judah and the house of Israel, the so-called blacks and the so-called Hispanics. But it's not going to take everybody. Most times just looking for a few brothers, a few faithful, loyal brothers to stand up. Watch this, Micah 2 verse 2. that means covet you know what that means to covet meaning they want what you have they want your land they covet fields right. they covet fields they'll put a wall so you don't cross over to the own land that god gave you right. you understand read and they covet fields and take them and what and take them what do they do and take them a so-called white man took your land right. took your land and said here have a parade Celebrate Cinco de Mayo, leave me the hell alone. I'll take your resources, your land, and whatever else I want. That's what happened. They come in fields and take your land. How do they take your land? Let's see. And take them by violence. By what? By violence. They take your land by violence. What happened to the so-called Mexicans, the so-called American Indians? They were slaughtered. They were killed in order for that land to be taken. They don't take it by peace. They don't take it by democracy, okay, by a handshake, by 
by signing treaties. No, they take it by violence, by violence. And they give you a fake parade to celebrate your what? So-called independence. You're not free. You don't know who you are, so how can you be free? You understand? Was there more? And houses. And take them away. And take them away. Your houses have been taken away. Your houses, your temples have been taken away. All right? It's all been taken away. And what do you have left? You have what? A parade to celebrate a fake, a fake independence. We are not independent. Until we can rule and govern ourselves and protect our own people, we are not free. You understand that? Watch this, read. So they oppress a man and his house. Yeah, what? So they oppress a man and his house. They oppress a man and his house. They oppress you, they oppress our people until the fact, until the point where what? Now you call yourselves what? Mexicans. Hey, you're gonna check up on your family. Give me that in um, Deuteronomy 10 and 12, I think it is. Before you go, watch this. Before you go, listen to this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. And now Israel. And now who? Israel, because you are Israelites, you're not Mexican. Read. What does the Lord thy God require of thee? What does God require of you? What's your name? Fabian. Jose. What does God require of Fabian and Jose? Let's see. But to fear the Lord thy God. But to fear the Lord thy God. You have to fear God. How do you fear God? Read. To walk in all his ways. By walking in all his ways. Everything that he wrote in his book. You have to adhere to, you have to follow. Yes, and to love him. And to what? And to love him. To love God. Love God. That's what God requires of you. How do you love God? Keeping his commandments. Yes, and to serve. And to what? And to serve. That's what we're doing. That's what we are. We are the servants of God. Serving his people. your mind and with all your soul read to keep the commandments to what to keep the commandments so fabian and what jose you got to keep the commandments you got a flyer you got a flyer contact us we have a school here in detroit all right we need more so-called latinos so-called mexicans why because the majority of the 12 tribes of israel are northern kingdom so-called hispanics so we need brothers that look like you to wake the people up. That's your job. From here on out, you are marked. You are marked. So it's your job, or God can judge you if you don't do it. You understand? Don't go back to sleep. You awake now. Do not go back to sleep. Was there more? Breathe. To keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. For what? For it's good. It's good for you. It's good for your family. You worried about your family. Your family needs to hear this. So these words that we're reading to you, teaching you, take it back to your family. Show them. Teach them so that we can come out of this. We don't belong here. This is captivity. This is our oppression. All right. So you brothers have a big job. You've been marked now. So you have to step up, rise up, teach your people. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 